Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is our continuation of looking at some of the features in Microsoft Edge. So Microsoft Edge browser is uh, full of uh, settings for your privacy, um, especially for tracking on the internet. When you go on the upper right in the three horizontal dots, go into settings. One of the things that you'll see into settings, if you go to privacy search and services, is a panel of tracking prevention. Tracking prevention is by default at balanced, so it does block transfers of a site you haven't visited. Uh, content and ads will likely be less personalized because there's less tracking. Sites should work as expected because tracking or prevention of tracking can sometimes create problems and blocks uh, known harmful trackers. So that's the balanced option. That's what's really happening right now with your browser when you don't change anything. Um, if some websites are broken because of that, you can always go back to basic, but it allows pretty much everything when you do that. The uh, other option is strict, and strict is um, more of a um, you know of, of a blocker than than balanced. But the problem is it might break websites. There are websites that might not work, or there are websites that will work, but certain pages might be broken. That's why there's tracking prevention. Kind of they call it balanced. The one that they choose is because. It's going to block some trackers, but it's not working to block enough that it could break a website that wants to actually show you some, uh, some ads and will, of course, want to have some information for the tracking for the cookies and so on. So this is nice because it actually shows us that the browser can be used to help and block trackers and stuff like that. Uh, you can turn it off completely if you want. If you turn it off, there's no more you know, tracking um, prevention that's going to work. So I don't think you should turn it off. Uh, this should actually be on all the time. And uh, balance is a nice compromise. If you really want to push it further, well, why not use a strict one? By using strict, well, you'll see what happens. If the websites that you go to still work fine, there's no problem. You can continue using the strict uh, blockers and see what happens. But if you see that some of the websites or many websites that you go to are actually broken, then you might want to go back into balanced. But it's up to you to choose the level of tracking prevention that is actually going to happen. Once you choose tracking prevention, one of the nice thing is that you can actually see blocked trackers. You can click here and every website, every place that you went to, you will have the tracking that is blocked and how many of the blocks, uh, how many times it was blocked. And here at the top it says, tracking prevention blocked 1,046 trackers. Of course, if you put it at strict, that means that you'll have the blocked trackers, you'll have a lot more things that are going to be blocked. So this is something to note. One last thing to know is that you can add exceptions. So if you go to strict, you can go and click exceptions and you add a website. By adding a website, what's going to happen is that you are going to tell the browser that, okay, I want to have strict tracking prevention, but I want you to exempt this website because probably it breaks the website and you don't want that. So you can add it site per site. So see if you add, actually use strict and of all the websites you visit, only one is broken. You can just add that site that will actually prevent the strict uh, tracking prevention from actually breaking it. And finally, you have an option here at uh, always use strict tracking prevention when browsing in private. So if you do use in private mode, you can turn this on. This will make sure that you're always on a strict tracking prevention on websites in, in private mode. 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.